Recently, I watched a very engaging doodle animation video on YouTube. For me, it was like a candy, and I was very fascinated at how interested I was. I don't know. Maybe there is something about a person drawing a picture that makes it hard to stop watching. Apparently, there was a recent study that suggested that animated whiteboard videos like this one we proven to be 800% more engaging than written words on the screen and four times more effective than regular talking head videos. As a result, I wanted to try it out for myself and have decided to draw my life. My name is Nasser Ali Al Shehri. I am fairly tall, around 1 meter 75, I think. I have short curly hair and a small French style beard. I have masculine body and a medium brown skin complexion. I was born in 1990, so I'm 23 years old. I have lived in Riyadh ever since I was born. Let me tell you about my family. My mother is a teacher at a government school. She teaches mathematics. On the other hand, my father is a businessman and has had a company for many years. I lived with my mother because my parents are divorced. My father has another wife. Because of this, that means we have two houses. And I live in my mother's house here in Riyadh. I believe she needs me more than my father. I have four brothers, Mizar. Mansoor, Sultan, and Fahad, and two sisters, Amani and, and Amal. I am the second eldest, and we have a baby on the way. I don't know if it will be a boy or a girl. I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I loved my childhood. There are some really good memories. I remember once when I was a child, we were in a game store. I think it was Toys R Us. Yes, I think it was. Anyway, I saw a collection of small cars. It was so wonderful. And I started screaming. All I wanted at that time were those cars. They were so expensive and I couldn't understand. So guess what happened? Then I stopped screaming again with a louder voice. <laughs> Then I got a beating from my parents. They got what they needed and we went back home. At the end of that month, my father came to the house when he finished work. He brought me a present. I knew then what it was. It was the collection of small cars. This is one of the best memories. It was sad and happy in one time. That's why I can't forget it. About my school life. I studied in a government school in Riyadh. I had some very good teachers and I made some good friends. Overall, my school life was so good, so great and so fantastic until high school. There were small problems because of what happened between my parents. At that time, my father married another woman. My mother didn't accept what my father did. For three years, there was a trouble and more trouble. I tried hard to be a good student, but it was so hard to pretend that there were no family problems. I couldn't handle it. Even when I was with my friends at school or sitting alone, I would think about these problems. However, I liked most of my subjects, like math and physics. The subject I didn't like was chemistry. It was so hard to understand and so boring. I just hated it. The teacher was a nice man though. He was from Syria. When I completed studying at high school, I was supposed to go to King Abdulaziz University. And yes, I went there, but I studied for a month, just one month, because I had an accident on the highway in Riyadh. I never had an accident before, and it was a very scary experience. 
I did not know what to do. I was with my best friend, Faiz. The best friend you can have. And my brother, I was the driver. My best friend was sitting beside me. My brother was sitting behind us. I was driving 116 km an hour. I lost control of my car. You don't know how it happened. All I can remember was a lot of noise and flashing lights. I can remember my brother's face. His nose was broken and blood covered all his face. No one died, thanks for Allah. I didn't collide with any cars. I hit the area that was between, uh, I think you know what I mean. So, no car meant no university. I stayed at home for four years doing nothing. I lost four years in my life. I was supposed to be a father by now. Whatever, no one can change the past. But right now, I'm studying at CTI College in Real. And I hope I can get my life back. Besides studying, I like to be a DJ as well. I like it as a hobby. In the end, no one knows what will happen tomorrow. So, I don't have any plans for the future. All I want now is a beautiful wife, nice job, a nice life, inshallah.